have uh, Maulana Muhammad Umar, and he is our next speaker talking on the miracles of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Maulana Muhammad Umar on the miracles of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabb al Alamin. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد. The topic in hand is miracles and the mujizes of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. But before I share with you a hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, one important aspect that I want to kind of highlight today and speak about is that many of us, a lot of times, when we become so fond of an individual, we become so, you know, excited to meet somebody, we look up to somebody. Uh, and uh, the sad reality of the matter is that when it comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the legacy and the seed of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the way we look up to other people, we don't look up to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that manner and in that way. And uh, the reason for that, it's because we ourselves are unaware of the seal of the Prophet ﷺ. We ourselves are unaware of who the Prophet ﷺ was really, what did he do for us. And neither do we teach our children this. That's why we find the youngsters today, we find, we find the kids today suffering from this, you know, social media where they see the lives of other people. They see the lives of athletes. And people that are just, you know, living their, living their life in this world. And they're showing it to us. And they're showing it to these youngsters. And these people are now, you know, so moved by them. They are so amazed by them. They are so astonished by them. That, wow, man, this is a lifestyle I want to live. And I want to be like this person. I want to be like this movie star. I want to be like this athlete. What can I do to make my lifestyle like this person's? And the reality is if we were to see them, and it happens with many of us, you get to see this on social media. You see somebody going by that, that may be so popular on social media, and that person doesn't even have iman. He doesn't even have you know, the, the bare minimum, which is to be hold as you know, someone valuable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we see them on the street and wallahi, we do anything to run after them and to take a selfie with them. That man, let me just go, let me just meet this person just so that I can, so, I can show everybody and post it on my social media. Look, I met this guy, I met that guy. We're so amazed by other people. But when it comes to the seed of the Prophet ﷺ, when it comes to the lifestyle of Rasulullah ﷺ, we don't want to dress like him. We don't want to act like him. We don't want to be like him. We don't want to eat like him. We don't want to walk like him. We don't want to do anything with him. It's a sad reality. And the reason for that is because we ourselves are unaware of him. And we don't teach our kids this. That's why there is this huge gap, right? That we haven't taught our kids that who the Prophet ﷺ was. How many kids did the Prophet ﷺ have? I can guarantee you, for the ones, for the people listening online and the, for the people that are sitting here, if we were to ask our kids this question, okay, can you tell me the kids of the Prophet ﷺ, their names? What were their names? They won't know. Who was the grandsons of the Prophet ﷺ? They won't know. Who was the Prophet ﷺ's companion? They won't know. Name me four companions of the Prophet ﷺ. They won't know. So if a person who doesn't know the legacy of the Prophet ﷺ, how would he be amazed by it? Why would he want to follow it? Why would he want to adopt it? So anyhow, it's our job. The month of, the month of Rabi'ul Awwal is not just a month that comes and goes by. And it, just in this month, maybe one or two days, we talk about the Prophet ﷺ and his seerah. And then the rest of the year, we don't do it. Right? We, don't, we don't talk about it. We don't listen to it. Nothing. No, it's not just the month of Rabi'ul Awwal we do it in. The reason why we do it in this month, of course, it's so that we can create this awareness of the wilada of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, of the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But the reality of the matter is that it's something that we need to hold on to and we need to learn the seed of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and to teach it to our kids. Bring that lifestyle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam into our lives. That this is the only lifestyle that Allah likes. This is the only lifestyle that if I want to be successful in the hereafter, I have to follow this lifestyle. There's no other lifestyle, right? No other lifestyle of an athlete or a movie star or whoever it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at that. He wants to be, he wants to look at the lifestyle of Rasulullah sallallahu Just dress like him, I will love you. Eat like him, I will love you, right? Walk like him, I will love you. Talk like him, I will love you. This is what Allah ta'ala wants from you and I. So we have to inshallah learn this and teach our kids this as well. Anyhow, the hadith that I want to share with you inshallah today is that the Prophet وسلم, of his nabuwa, his prophethood. The Prophet وسلم, was, is a Nabi, is a Prophet 
that not just only the humans and the jinnat agree to the prophethood of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and him being khatamun nabiyyin, the end and the seal of all the prophets. But in the reality of the matter is even the animals. The animals also testify to this. The animals also testify to the Prophet ﷺ being Khatam al nabiyyin the last Prophet, the final Prophet, and being the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The hadith I want to share with you is Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu says that uh, there was once a man from the tribe of Bani Sulaym who was walking by the Prophet ﷺ and there was a gathering of the Prophet of Allah ﷺ and there was Sahaba radiallahu anhu around the Prophet of Allah. So this individual He's walking by this gathering and he says, Ala man jama'a? What are these people doing? Why are they all gathered here? So one of the person in the gathering says that Ala man annahu nabiyun. Right? That this gathering is for that individual who is claiming to be a prophet. So all these people that have surrounded him are sitting around him. And this person who is talking, he claims to be a prophet of Allah. So he goes and he splits up the jama'ah and he goes and he comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, the amazing part of this riwayah is that this individual, in the narration it comes, هو قد صاد ضبا وجعله في كمه He had hunted a lizard. He had hunted a lizard and he had that lizard with him and it was inside of his sleeve. So it was dead, the lizard was dead. So he comes in front of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says that you know, you, you are splitting up this entire nation. You are splitting up this entire tribe. I swear upon my mother that if it wasn't for my, you know, for my tribe, if they had, you know, if they were to uh, 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 name me that a person who is, you know, who hastens towards a matter, who hastens towards something, I would have killed you right here and now, and I would have made every single person here proud of me. I would have done this. So the Prophet sallallahu is standing there, and Umar radiallahu anhu next to him. So Umar radiallahu anhu is hearing this. And he says, Da'ani yaqtulhu, Ya Nabi Allah. Ya Nabi Allah, leave me. You know, give me the permission so I can kill him. I can take his head away. So Prophet says, no, it's okay. It's fine. One of the qualities of a Nabi is he is halim, forbearance. Aspect of forbearance. The Prophet says, it's okay, it's fine, leave him. So then the Prophet looks at him and he says, what do you want? He says, you know, you claim to be a Prophet of Allah. You claim to be a Prophet of Allah. I will not believe that you are a true Prophet until and unless, and he has the lizard, the dead lizard with him. And he throws that lizard in front of the Prophet ﷺ and he says, لا أمنت بك, I will not believe in you, أو أمن بك هذا الضب, until and unless this dub, this lizard here believes in you, testifies that you are a Prophet of Allah. So SubhanAllah, the Prophet ﷺ says, okay. The Prophet ﷺ looks at the lizard. The lizard is dead. The Prophet ﷺ says, يا ضب. The Prophet ﷺ says, يا ضب. O oh, lizard, and in the riwayah it comes, the lizard gets up. Allah Ta'ala grants the lizard life. And the lizard gets back up, comes back into life. فَتَكَلَّمَ بِكَلَامٍ عَرَبِيٍّ مُبِينٍ In the narration it comes, فَتَكَلَّمَ بِكَلَامٍ عَرَبِيٍّ مُبِينٍ It is starts to talk in such eloquent language, يَفْهَمُهُ الْقَوْمِ That the entire nation understood, all the people around the Prophet ﷺ, they understood what is this lizard saying. So, when the lizard gets up, the Prophet ﷺ says that, uh, who is your Rabb? Who is your Rabb? Tell me who is your Rabb? So the lizard says, الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ عَرْشُهُ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ سُلْطَانُهُ وَفِي الْبَحْرِ سَبِيلُهُ The lizard says, my Rabb is he whose kingdom is in the heavens. My Rabb is he, فِي الْعَرْشِ سَمَاءُهُ uh, فِي السَّمَاءِ عَرْشُهُ whose arsh, whose throne is in the heavens. In the land is his, is his sultan, is his kingdom. So the Prophet then looks at the lizard and the Prophet says, Okay, then, man ana? Who am I? Who am I? Now this Arab, this, this, this Bedouin who came to the Prophet with this you know, mindset to just overpower and dominate Rasulullah this person is shook. What is going on? This lizard is saying that my Rabb is he who's in the skies. My Rabb is he who's fil jannati rahmatuhu wa fil nari adabuhu. That's my Rabb. Now this person, this Bedouin is shook. Now the next question of the Prophet is, who am I? Tell me. So the lizard says, Anta Rasulu Rabbil Alameen. Anta Rasulu Rabbil Alameen. Wa khatamun nabiyyin. 
anta rasul rabbil alamin wa khatamun nabiyyin you are the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa khatamun nabiyyin there's no one coming after you khatamun nabiyyin no one coming after you the seal of all the prophets sadiqul amin it starts to talk about the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looks at that bedouin that bedouin is shook and he says ashhadu bi annaka rasulullah wa an la ilaha illa allah ashhadu bi annaka rasulullah wa an la ilaha illa allah i testify i bear witness that you are the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there there's none worthy of worship but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again we are so unaware of his seerah we are so unaware of what type of an individual he was the reason why allah ta'ala created this universe we have to learn we have to study the receipt of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, learn it for ourselves and teach it to our kids inshaAllah. May Allah ta'ala give me all of us the ability to do so. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. MashaAllah takbir. MashaAllah thank you very much. Very beautiful hadith and uh, that miracle of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, it uh, provides the warmth to our iman. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Naray Risalat. Muhammad Rasulullah. تاج دار ختم نبوت زندہ بات